The idea of the Internet of Things search engine is to create an effective system which offers the ability to use the data from the Internet of Things in a meaningful way to discover and resolve queries. Although there's a lot of interest and even research on the topic, there are several factors hindering its advancement. I think there are two factors that are preventing the advancement of the Internet of Things search engine. The first is the diversity of the solution that we can have, the multiple different solutions. We need to have like common vision, common conceptual model of what this thing, this search engine system should be. And so far, we haven't found that common vision. To create a more unified vision for the Internet of Things search engine, Gwen Koi Tran a postdoctoral researcher at the University of Adelaide used automated software tools to identify 200 relevant articles from various academic sources. We realized two things. So the first thing is that the field is growing, but at the same time, it is growing apart in the sense that the ratio of paper being cited by all the work each year is keep, keep reducing and reducing. And all of those citations, they focus on a small set of work. So those small works, actually, they drive the vision of what our research engine should be. The team's analysis revealed that the existing models focused on the type of Internet of Things content being utilized in the search results while completely ignoring the relationship between them. To address this major shortfall, Gwen and his fellow researchers came up with the MetaPath model. So for each query, we can imagine as a particular path, a very concrete path on that graph. And then the search engine, because it has limited scope, so it can only follow, deal with a certain kind of content, follow a certain kind of path. So the generalization of those paths that a search engine can do becomes like a MetaPath description. To demonstrate how the MetaPath model works, Let's say we're searching for home pages of IoT-enabled light bulbs with abnormal energy consumption. To process this query, two things need to happen. First, it needs to find the light bulbs. This metapath can be defined as follows. Next, it needs to narrow the list down to those light bulbs with abnormal energy consumption. This particular metapath can be defined as follows. If you combine these two queries into a single metapath, it becomes the following. This also happens to be the second most common class in the Internet of Things search engine literature. So it provides us the more, the deeper, more detailed, more fine-grained description of what a search engine can do compared to the old model, like um, this is a sensor search, that is a thing search. It's kind of arbitrary. So what is the key to building a more comprehensive, unified search engine model for something as vast as the Internet of Things? So I would say the solution might be in the community. When we, when we start from a vision, we build the architecture around it, we build a software framework around it, and everyone can see how their work fits into this vision. But all of those things put together, and eventually we will get there. Learn more in Internet of Things Search Engine, a review article in the July 2019 Communications of the ACM.